Starting with number one on lesson 14, we've got a student estimated that it would take three hours to write a book report, but it actually took five hours. What is the percent error for her estimate? All right, so she estimated it was going to be three. It took her two, so um, she was off by two hours. Two hours. All right, and then uh, we're going to want to um, put that over. Now, the, the tricky part for this is what do we put that over? Is that going to be um, three or is it going to be five? Uh, but uh, remember, that's the actual, the bottom number is the actual value. And I know it, do, it doesn't do this every time, but I mean, this is pretty convenient that it says it actually took her five hours. So that was the actual time it took her to read. So you're going to do two divided by five times 100. And you might even just know that off the top of your head, which is pretty good. But the, the percent of error on that one is 40%. So definitely misgaged how long it's going to take. All right, number two, a radar gun measured the speed of a baseball at 103 miles per hour. If the baseball was going, actually going 102.8 miles per hour, what was the percent error? All right, so that's probably not that big. But uh, we're going to do, um, for this one, they're off by two-tenths. Okay, and here's that word again, actually going 102.8. So you're going to do 102.8 right there. Multiply that by 100. Okay, and uh, I get 0 0.0019455. No, it's not. Let me just make sure. All right, I got, yeah, I didn't multiply by 100. 0 0.194552 something, whatever. All right, so that's going to be about, if I just round it to one decimal place, it's going to be about 0.2% error. All right, if I use two decimal places, you can put 0.19%. But it doesn't say, it doesn't say what we should round it to. All right, for number three, it took 48 minutes to drive downtown. An app estimated it would take less than that. Uh, if the error was 20%, what was the app's estimate? <clears throat> All right, so this number right here, it doesn't use this language, uh, but this is the actual. You know, that's what it actually took. So, um, so the error uh, is going to be what? What are we going to do? So this is, I'm just thinking this over. Um, now I'm just, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do um, 48. Well, let's do it like this, like a percent equation. We're going to do 20% of 48, which is going to be 0 0.2 times 48. So you're going to do that. That should be... Nine point six. All right. <clears throat> so the error was nine point six, and so I'm just going to do um, for this. I'm just going to do forty-eight minus nine point six, And then 48 minus 9 is, 48 minus 9 is 39, minus, and then minus 0.6 is going to be 
So farmer estimated that there was 25 gallons of water left in the tank. If this is an underestimate by 16%, how much water was actually in the tank? All right, so underestimate uh, means we're going to take that away from 100%. So we're going to do 100% minus 16, which equals 84%, which in turn equals 84 hundredths as a decimal. So you're going to do that. So we're going to do, uh, for this one, we're going to set up an equation. So 0.84, right? 0.84 um, times what number equals 25? And that should do it if we just divide both sides by 84 hundredths. So do that. 25 divided by 0.84, you get. Oh, I should also, yeah, 25, you're going to get 29.761, we don't really need all these decimals, all those numbers, that's going to be about like 29.8, so 29.8 gallons right there. All right, number five, for each story, write an equation that describes the relationship between the two. All right, so for number five, Diego collected X kilograms of recycling. Lynn collected two-fifths more than that. Two-fifths. All right, so, um, you know, uh, I'm trying to think whether to draw a picture for this, if that would help you or not. Um, But we could, we could do like, we could do that. Why not? So you got, all right, I'm gonna break this up into fifths. Okay, that's fifths, and then, so those are fifths, and Lynn collected two more fifths, right? right there, so that's plus two more fifths. All right, and so what we have now is a total of, right, we have a total of seven fifths. Right, we have seven of them. So that is gonna be our equation. You're gonna put, um, we're gonna put what? We're gonna put y equals seven fifths x. Y equals seven fifths x. All right, so the next one here, right here, We've got Lynn biked X kilometers. All right, I'm gonna break this up into tenths. All right, and <clears throat> so that right there is, let me draw it over here. By the way, so that, Right there, that represents X, okay? And Diego, like three tenths less than that. All right, so that's, I should capitalize that. Diego, right there. And um, what that means now is like what's left here, what's left is seven tenths right there. And so that should be it. So that is going to be y equals 7 tenths x. All right, because that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be what y equals right there. Diego read x minutes. Lynn read 4 sevenths of that. <clears throat> so... I'm going to break this up into, into sevenths. So one, two. All right, so that's my best sevenths right there. And so that is right there. This That represents x. That's what Diego read for. And then Lid read 
four sevenths of that. So that's what Lynn read. So that's going to be um, just for pretty straightforward. That's going to be just four sevenths x. Y equals four sevenths x. All right, and this is the last one. Number six for each diagram, decide if y is an increase or a decrease of x. These are pretty easy. And then determine the percentage. All right, so for a, um, so is y an increase or a decrease of x? So y is showing right here, y is showing a smaller amount, so that's definitely a decrease. Right, and what x is presenting there, x is presenting fifths. So that's right there, that's, that's one fifth, that's another fifth, right? So those are all fifths. All right, so those, um, so we can say that um, one fifth, one fifth equals 20%, which equals 0.2, right? And so I'm just gonna put this like this. Y is uh, a 20% decrease of X. All right, and then on this one right here for B, all right, those are fifths again. And this is definitely an increase growing, it's bigger, the, the version for that, and that's three-fifths. Now three-fifths equals six-tenths, which equals 60 percent. 60 percent. So we can say that y is 60 uh, percent, putting this right, 60 percent increase of x. right there that's 60 percent all right Lynn is making a window covering for a window all right that has the shape of a half circle on top of a square of side length three how much fabric does she need so the window is a square and the window is it's a square and there's a half circle semicircle right there and all we're given the only information we're given about this is that the square has three feet all right so how much fabric does she need all right so what are we going to do for this one we've got um, yeah so it's a half circle so area of a circle area of the circle is pi times radius squared I times radius squared. So the uh, radius of this one is um, 1.5. Or I'm just going to put three halves. We can do three halves there. We can do that. <clears throat> or I'll just do 1.5. Let's not make it more complicated. All right, so the area of the window part, that's going to be, that's going to be 1.5 squared times pi. So you're going to do that. I'll hold on to that. And then the window part, that's just going to be 3 times 3, which is 9. All right, so 1.5, that's going to be 2.25 pi and then this is going to be 9 and let me work this out I'm not sure what they want does it say yeah how much we probably don't want to leave this in terms of pi so 2.25 um, and I forgot something I forgot something do you guys know what I forgot I forgot to um, divide this by 2 because this is a half circle just remembered well, I was about to put that in my calculator so that's that's a half circle so this, this would be, you know, if I kept it the way it was, that's full or for a full circle, 
but we want to keep it halvesies here. So you got 2.25 times pi. I'm going to use 3.14 for pi, and then I'm going to divide that by 2. And I get 3.5325. And so just add that to 9, and you're going to get, you know, you're going to get uh, total area is going to be 12.53, I don't know, 12.5 yeah, 12 square feet.